Dr. Amy Guernsey with University Veterinary Care Center is here with us now. Good morning, Dr. Guernsey. Good morning. Uh, in today's pet advice, we're talking about caring for a deaf dog. So right. how common is hearing loss in dogs? Pretty common, actually. Um, you know, dogs with hearing loss get that way one of a couple different ways. Um, one would be they're just born that way with some degree of hearing loss. There are certain breeds with some pre predilection for that, you know, some of the white-coated breeds, some with blue eyes. Dalmatians are kind of the poster children for that. Um, so they may start from that from the get-go. Um, but the more common scenario is that they develop hearing loss over the time. Um, either they're a dog that has dealt with chronic ear infections through their whole life, or they're just dealing with age-related change. Um, they can just not hear as well as they get older. Well, what are some signs that our dog may be suffering from hearing loss? Um, the most common things I, I hear owners report is, you know, they didn't notice when I came home. They're not, they're not waking up when I make noises in the kitchen. Um, things that normally would get their attention no longer are. Um, or another common scenario is if they have a puppy is they're really hard to train. They don't seem to be paying attention. Gotcha. And is there testing available? Absolutely. Um, so there's what I call my layman's testing, which is, you know, they're, they're asleep, dead to the world. You make a loud noise and see if they respond to it. Um, you know, that's, that's one frequency, that's one noise to see if they will respond to it. Um, you can have a person in your home giving them lots of attention and you make a distracting noise and see if their ears turn, see if their eyes turn in response to it. Um, those are cheap, easy ways to, to get an idea of whether or not they're dealing with major hearing loss. If you want an idea of more specific, there's a, a test called BEAR testing. It stands for Brainstem Auditory um, Evoked Response. Um, and you go to someone that has that specialized piece of equipment, they put electrodes on the dog and basically measure whether or not the brain is picking up on, on sounds around them. Well, what are some tips for living with a dog that has hearing loss? Yeah, um, so dogs with hearing loss have a, a few risks. Because they can't hear, they're more at risk for getting injured running out in front of a car. Sure. Um, they're more of a bite risk because they get startled easily. Um, you know, they're, they're harder to train. So things that you can do to help with any dog, really, is when you're going through the training process, always pair your auditory cues with hand signals so, and keep them consistent. So through life, if they develop hearing loss, they can still understand what you're trying to say to them because you've developed this sign language with them, basically. Um, if you have a dog that you know is deaf, make sure that you have identified them as such. You know, sometimes we'll tie a yellow ribbon around their leash so people approaching them know to approach with caution. Um, and, and make sure that you're able to find them if they ever get lost, maybe tying a bell around their collar because if you're yelling for them, they may not hear you. And I imagine with kids, you want to make sure that they understand right, the extra proper caution way. there for sure. Especially when waking a dog, you don't necessarily want to just, you know, jar <laughs> jar sure. a dog awake that that can't hear you coming. Um, a more subtle thing to do would maybe to put something that they can smell under their nose um, to let them know that hey, I'm here now. Um, maybe toss something gently at them so that you're not the one waking them up and scaring them. Okay, well, good tips. Dr. Guernsey, thank you for being with us today. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like more information about University Veterinary Care Center, just head over to universityvetcare.com.